A few weeks ago, I went to explore the alleged most dangerous district in Moscow, in the south part of the city. If you remember, however, that day ended up in a bit of a disappointment because we were able to come and go unscathed, we didn't get mugged, nobody was interested in my belongings or just wanted to know what I was up to there, so I thought I would give it another try. This time, I'm going to Golianovo instead, on the very far eastern border of Moscow. In 2014, it was ranking third in the list of most dangerous places in the entire world, according to the Huffington Post, slightly safer than the worst areas of Bogota in Colombia and Plovdiv, Bulgaria, but even more dangerous than Detroit, according to the Huffington Post. So I thought, why not? Let's go and have a look for ourselves. Golianovo, here we come. As I am now walking along one of the main roads of the most dangerous district in Moscow, I know that the border between Moscow proper and the Moscow region is not far from here. We're very far from the very center of Moscow where tourists usually are. Tourists definitely don't come here all the way to Golianova. And not just because it's dangerous, or rather because it has this reputation of being dangerous, according to the Huffington Post, but also because there's nothing to do here. You see, there's a lot of snow here. After all, it's the middle of the winter here in one of the most dangerous places in the world, according to the Huffington Post. But don't worry about me. The cold is not going to be the main danger of the day for me here in Goldianovo. I gotta be more on the lookout for thieves, murderers, and why not, possibly human traffickers. I read on the internet that when the most dangerous region in Moscow was. No, probably. Сейчас Но... лучше, сейчас лучше. Шо... Блог снимаете или вы? Да, да, конечно. А. Я хочу как самые плохие места. А. Есть, рекомендуйте здесь, в Гольянове. Не знаю. Или, или... Сейчас район лучше стал. Окей, okay. понятно. Ну, спасибо да, большое. Пожалуйста, как вас зовут? Давида, я из Италии. Очень приятно, Давида. Меня okay. зовут Борис. Вы живете да, здесь, я да? Я здесь живу, да. Ну, сколько лет? Ну, вот в Гольянове я живу года, наверное, три. Я до этого жил там, в том районе, там рядом. Ну вы видели, что стало лучше, да? Я видел, что да. стало лучше, да. Понятно. Как-то даже по людям видно, что меняются а. люди. Ну Хорошо. я, как, знаете, я верующий человек, мы молимся за район. Ага. Вот я здесь служу и а. работаю, и поэтому а. как-то, ну, мы, мы верим в хорошее. Да. Всего доброго. Хорошо, спасибо. До свидания. Now, I was just so sure that the guy approached me because he wanted to engage in a conversation with me and possibly distract me and in the meanwhile take my camera and run away. But he didn't. I wonder what these tubes must be bringing to the district of Golianovo, probably hot water, heating, and you see that it's broken in some places already. And also I want to mention the fact that over there in the distance you see some factory chimneys and I'm still very far from those, I must be at least a kilometer away from those very chimneys, but I have to tell you that the smell is getting so bad already. I just found temporary shelter under a bus stop because it started snowing a little bit and I was just looking in front of me and there's a limousine and I was just wondering why on earth would a limousine be here in Golianova, in this place? No, I don't need you. A proper Soviet limo. What is this thing doing here? You see the huge chimneys, Chernobyl-like, over there in the distance. And these are probably the main landmarks of the district of Golianovo, the most dangerous district in Moscow, according to the Huffington Post. I get it, I mean, it does look grim, but there's no one around. How can a place be dangerous if there's no one around to rob you? But seriously though, where are the Gopniks hiding? They are the Russian equivalent to the British Chubs. I reckon Gopniks must have a day job, so they only come out at night here in Golianovo. So I should probably be back at night as well to 
experience the most dangerous district of Moscow to the fullest. Where are the Gopniks hiding? All I know is on this ice I'm sliding bars. I now need to get serious for a minute because I need to tell you about a story that I read on the internet about this place that is pretty serious indeed. There was once this girl from Kazakhstan who moved all the way to Russia to Moscow and settled here in Golyanovo because she was looking for a better life. And she quickly found a job at a convenience store just like this one. Unfortunately, little did she know that that job was going to turn her life around for the worse. The owner of the store took her documents away from her just so that she could not escape. She was forced to live in the basement of the store and she was forced to work ungodly hours every day for months. After a couple of unsuccessful attempts at escaping, after which she was beaten horribly, she finally found safety thanks to an association working against slavery, basically. And that case was brought up all the way to the European Commission in Brussels. And it was known as the case of the slaves of Golianovo. I just found a random church here in Golianovo. And that is really weird. It's even more weird considering that it's Catholic. And you don't see many Catholic churches in Moscow and in the whole of Russia generally and I surely wasn't expecting to see one here in Goldianovo. And right behind the church there's a hostel, look at this. Over there, hostel. Right in the middle of Goldianovo. Would you stay here? S dotted hostel. Ulitsa Irkutskaya, Irkutsk Street. We're gonna check it out on booking.com tonight, right? This is a more residential part of Goldianovo, which means there are fewer eyes looking, if you know what I mean. And that means that the moment that I encounter someone, I might be in real danger. Просто читаю, что это самый опасный район в интернете в мире, серьёзно. Так американцы говорят. Я в районе живу. Сейчас я вам скажу, сколько. 52 года. Серьезно, вау. Да, мы сюда приехали, мне было 8 лет. В любом районе где-то есть какие-то места, которые, ну, как бы лучше, ну, или не ходить. У меня две дочери, ага. никогда ничего. Да, и вот живут здесь, верят, да? Живут в этом районе. И мы с собачкой мы вечером гуляем, у нас такса. Ага. Вот, длинная такая. Yeah, I told you that surely... Gopniks do come out at night, you see, these are really nice benches, and you see this, a nice empty bottle of cognac, which is here almost frozen, as if it was something straight out of a museum. Now, the guy earlier was saying that the area of Golianovo has become much better in the past few years, and that was something that I actually already knew, because I did do my research online, and this is an example. You see this nice light decoration, there's a nice Orthodox church. And you see here, this nice pond, which is of course now frozen and covered in snow. But this is a really nice park that the people, the residents of Golianova can enjoy. Look at this nice place, the fancy restaurants of Golianovo. Okay guys, I'm a bit disappointed because so far no one has approached me with bad intentions and uh, probably Gopniks were all too scared of my foreign charm, but anyway, I'm really keen in trying to see if somebody is going to take at least something away from me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place and leave the camera on this bench right here, whereas I will go since it's really cold, um, I will go to the restaurant and the cafe over there and I will get myself some coffee. I reckon I'm gonna be away for around five minutes or so. Let's see if when I come back, you guys will still be with me. Let's go. No one even touched it? Oh man, what am I supposed to do to have 
people and gopniks take something from me, man. You hear the sirens? Well, since I'm not having any luck putting myself in danger with people, with the residents of Goljanova, let's try endanger ourselves with nature. I'm now walking on the frozen pond. I'm now in the middle of the pond, so surely where the ice to break under my feet, first responders would not be able to rescue me in time and I would surely die of hypothermia first. But looks like the ice and the snow is way too thick for that today. Guys, the sun is about to set here over the skies of Golianovo, the most dangerous district of Moscow, the third most dangerous place in the world, according to the Huffington Post. Well, I did my best to show you guys what the situation is actually like here. So, you make up your own mind, you be your own judges, so you decide for yourselves whether the Huffington Post was right or wrong. I did make my decision already, so what is left for me to do is just say thank you for sticking with me until the end and I'll see you next time. Cheers! Thank you! Bye!